Welcome back, Keepers of the Flames. So I did, I did go pick up the Bible yesterday. I did get a Bible. It's the sixth edition. And I've wanted it for a really long time. And I've just held off because I'm like, oh, you can just, you know, Google everything. But like, no, Google is getting sus. So I broke down and I, I did. I purchased the Bible. They're on sale at Costco's. Normally they cost 40 bucks and it's $22.99 at Costco's. So if you have a, a Costco's membership, if you know somebody with a Costco's membership, I don't know if these deals are online, but it's not a bad idea. Okay. Cause internet is getting really sus. Um, I would start, if you are like an info addictive <laughs> personality that's like okay uh if i'm gonna be addicted to something it's gonna be like books and plants um start investing in actual books not the online stuff i know save trees i get it save trees that's awesome but with the the algorithm and the ai crap they got going on i don't think this information is gonna be around too much longer i think you know they've said okay we've We've given this free access for way too effing long, and we need to dial it back because because those children that have access to the interwebs are getting really intelligent. Imagine that our youth is extremely smart right now, like <laughs> legit, like highly intelligent youth that we have coming up here. Thank goodness for that. So, for right now, I would invest in some authentic books um and not hi hi so fei not anything that is going to be well kept if you know what i mean like say um post-roman type of stuff so anything pre-roman probably is going to serve us quite well so if we can keep that a rolling, that'd be great. And then, um, what else? I got the Bohemian Book of Tarot, which I'm researching. Um, I'm not sure if it's like correct or not. If the information is correct, I'm gonna have to check my, you know, check resources on it again on the interwebs. Um, but, um, it's so far, it's so good. It's based off the Kabbalah, supposedly, the tarot is. And they're trying to associate it, and I'm not quite connecting it in my brain, because I'm like, this doesn't, this doesn't, like, they're connecting it to different words, and I'm like, did you translate correctly? Because they're saying the card means one thing, and then they're going, I don't know, it's weird. It's called the the Bohemian Tarot, and it's not it's not a deck of cards. It's a it's an actual book. It's an interesting read. It's intriguing. I'm just not seeing how they're dialing in the connections. It's really really weird. Like maybe it's the logos on it. I don't know. It's just particular. I'm like okay. I see that you're saying something about this and then trying to tie the card in and I'm not seeing where it connects. So, I'm going to keep exploring that. I am getting through the goddess book. Probably going to start Cersei's here soon. Hopefully, blasted. Um, Vesta is a really cool goddess asteroid that's worth exploring. Vesta, look it up. Look up where your asteroids are in your charts too. The reason why I'm doing these healings is because the asteroids, the goddess asteroids, are going to kind of ground us a little bit in this turbulent time. It's always been turbulent. It's just one thing after another. But this Circe's, <laughs> when she's not in her toxic form, like everybody likes to write her in, um, is actually the mother. She's um, associated with Demeter. So, which is the goddess of all, Gaia. So, yeah, it's a, 
it's a lot it's a lot to absorb because they're like then there's also this association with this goddess and that goddess and i want to name all of them for you and it's gonna rattle your brain so let's not do that um then there was a book i read circe's which is completely different character out of mythology and i'm like Y'all need to pick a lane, but <laughs> so it's been it's been a roller coaster because I'm trying to keep it all straight and it's it's a lot. So I've got I've got the placements figured out, um, houses, and I'll just read them off. I'll do a Cersei's episode and then I will um, like describing who Cersei is according to this book, not according to. Uh, <laughs> other resources that I've read um but we're talking astral realm here astrology the goddess uh asteroid I guess you could say and if you, you can go to astro slash seek and then in one of the options in the boxes you can drop down and put asteroid placements and it'll show you your whole chart with the astral placements so you can see like what you're trying and sextiled and square to in, in, uh, in terms of those. Um, I highly recommend you get that goddess book. I did not. Oh, hang on. It's upside down. I'm still going to read it. All right. So it is this book right here. The goddess, asteroid goddesses, the mythology, psychology, astrology of the re-emerging feminine. Okay, totally worth the read uh, by Demetra George and Douglas Blotch. Totally worth the read. <clears throat> Especially if you're a little Sagittarius placements like me, little activist over here. Okay, so when... Um, I get to that, um, I'll just do one video on the goddess itself, and then I'll go through and do readings based on your placement, astrological sign and houses for, for each of the goddesses, and there's four, four that are covered in this book anyway. There's tons more, but this is what I could find. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. I think that's all. I'm going to get into, I'm going to do a Leo read, and then a... Oh, did I miss for fire signs? Aries. Aries and Leo. Okay. Keep your flame. I'll see you.